Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Barry and this is Central Eyes. And today we're looking at a fragrance called Fateful and it's by Leros Parfums. So the lovely people at Lee Ross Perfumes, they sent me a sample recently and asked me if I could review it. Now, as you know on this channel, I very rarely do reviews on just samples, but as soon as they sent me this, I thought I would give it a, a review. So presentation, I'll put some pictures up of what the bottle and the box looks like, so you can get an idea of what it's like. Go on to the price point and it's £64.99 for 50ml. Availability, it's from leerossparfums.co.uk it's also the same on Instagram, Lee Ross Parfums, and I do believe they've got a Facebook page too. So Lee Ross, they were founded last year, 2019. If you want to know more about Lee Ross Parfums, then just go onto the website. There's a lot of uh, detail on there of why they got started. So back onto this fragrance. This is the only one that they've got currently, but I do believe they're looking to create some more. And the perfumer behind this one is someone called Francois Robert. Now, I do know that he's done other fragrances, but when I looked at those fragrances, there was none which I recognized. So let's look at the notes. In the top, you've got lemon, you've got watermelon, and you've got ambergris. In the mid, you've got musk, you've got jasmine, and you've got violet. And in the base, you've got cedarwood, you've got amber, and there's also spices in there. Originality. It's definitely original. It's not a copy of anything. It's got a bit of an old school vibe to it, but it's got pretty good modern twist to it as well. So is the fragrance lineal? Um, no, it does change throughout its, its um, cycle. It starts off very lemony and that does hang around for a while but it does change later on. Now on to performance. Projection, I think this is pretty close to the skin unfortunately for me. It might just be my skin, but it doesn't really project. Longevity, I would say five hours, but I was digging my nose into it, um, trying to get a good smell of it. Um, it has got quite a bright opening, and, and lemon is normally quite loud and brash, but for this one, it just doesn't seem to have any oomph. I don't know why. When to wear it? I would say it's a summer fragrance, probably get away with it early autumn or late spring. Who to wear it? I think it's leaning more masculine, but you can never say never with fragrances and I'm sure women could enjoy this too. Compliments, unsolicited, I haven't had any, but the when asking the wife, she says she does like the fragrance. Worth the money, it's £64.99 for 50ml. Would I buy it? Uh, I think I have too many that do a similar job than what this does for me to go out and buy it. But that's not saying that it wouldn't be something for you. So the fragrance itself. So I get lots of lemon in the first 20 minutes with a hint of a warm, salty vibe. I'm presuming that's from the ambergris. I don't get much of the watermelon. I really can't get any of that. Um, I do get a green vibe from it. 
and when you look at the notes I'm not quite sure where that green vibe is coming from but I do get that in there there's a few lovely florals which pick it up which is the jasmine and the violet and I know that both of those can be quite overpowering in the fragrance but I think it's blended that well that those two work really well together with the musk as well and the base for me is all about the amber I do get hints of spices not quite sure what they are maybe a bit of cinnamon a bit of pepper in there um, and you do get a bit of cedar wood but it's the base is all about the amber you still got a bit of the lemon hanging around but it's all about the amber the base um, and it does give off a bit of an old school vibe um, but it's got definitely a modern twist on it whereas old school you tend to start going down the fougere sort of route this doesn't go down that route with all the herbs and stuff um, so it's very different but I do get that vibe from it so is it a hit or a miss did it blow me away no was it something I enjoyed definitely I thought it was a really nice fragrance the only issue I have is I've got too many fragrances that have a similar DNA so I don't think it's the sort of thing that I would be reaching for very often but who's to say it, other people wouldn't really enjoy this fragrance for me it's got a bit of a habit rouge sort of feel to it but they go off in on different tangents would I recommend it yes I would recommend it but I would recommend that you got your nose on it and you gave it a smell first before purchasing it for me I think the performance was a bit disappointing for me but if you really like a smell performance don't let that get in the way uh, just keep reapplying and I'd say that with anything because if there's a real nice smell that you really enjoy don't let the performance stop you from buying it because you're missing out on something that you really enjoy if you do big thanks to the people at Lee Ross perfumes for sending that out to me I really don't normally do this with samples I like to show everybody the full presentation um, and I like to have a really good wearing of stuff especially nowadays with face masks and that you're talking eight to ten sprays and with a small sample vial you're not going to get that but thanks again to Lee Ross really enjoyed trying that fragrance out for you and I look forward to the future releases that you're putting out there so has anybody tried this fragrance let me know in the comments below what you think of it is there any other fragrances you can recommend to me I'm always on the lookout for new fragrances so leave them in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll speak to you all soon stay fragrant not vagrant <laughs>